Hello, all you crazy people. Well, we're out on the monkeys. Here she is, bless her. Oh dear. It's very chilly today. Very chilly, isn't it, kid? It's very chilly. <coughs> Are you ready, buds? Oh dear, I can't breathe today. Are you ready? They're away. Oh, this scorpion exhaust does sound nice. <laughs> Find another go. What are you doing in front? The old sun's getting low now. So, we haven't really been up to a lot. As you can tell, uh, I've, done, I've done quite a few shorts and I'm quite enjoying doing the shorts and uh, giving Buddy a voice. Where are you at, kid? Where are you at? He's like, what's she doing in front? With her indicator on, look. <laughs> Naughty girl. You tell her, kid. He's like, oh, I don't like her being in front. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, we've, uh, oh, what's the matter? <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> oh dear. Do you, do you not, do you not like her being in front? <coughs> no. You tell her, kid! You tell her! You tell her! So I'm the leader of the pack! Okay, okay. Keep your knickers on, kid. Keep your knickers on. I'll overtake her in a minute. <laughs> I better. Okay. Dear. Oh, I always try to be caught then, you know, you little bugger. Oh, dear. So last weekend we uh, we did go to the London Bike Show because we were lucky enough to win two tickets. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I've never been. Never been to the London one. I've done the Birmingham one for, for probably 17, 18 years. Never missed one. But uh, never done the the London one. So I said to the wife, said, "Come on, we've got tickets. We'll go." I uh, looked at the train. <laughs> that was 120 quid return for the two of us. So I said, "That we'll go in the car." And uh, so off we trotted. Last uh, last Sunday, we got down there and. Uh, 25 quid to park the bloody car. Oh, that meant I was moaning last year at 16 pound 
50 to park the car at Birmingham. But you know what? I think that was a bargain in hindsight compared to what London wanted. £25! So we paid the parking £25. Bear in mind it also cost me 15 quid for the congestion charge for all of three miles of uh, getting to the London XL. And uh, I bought the wife a coffee, £4.95. And I'm like, this day's just getting more and more bloody expensive. I was going to have a can of Coke, but at £3.40 for a can of Coke, I was like, you know what? You can keep your can of Coke. And uh, I didn't have one. So anyway, we went in. And i got to say, what a disappointment the actual venue for the London Bike Show was. It was tiny. Myself and my wife looked at each other. And we were like, surely this isn't it. There's got to be at least two more halls full of, full of motorbikes for us to go and look at. But it wasn't. It was tiny. Just one small hall, probably under half the size of one of the halls that Birmingham would put on. I mean, I'll give credit to the uh, manufacturers and the people that did turn up to the London Bike Show, do you know, their stands looked amazing and the way they uh, they displayed their bikes, they all look beautiful. But for what they must have paid for that venue and those stalls, it was ridiculous. I I'm telling you now, I'll never go again. I will never go again to the London Bike Show because it was just a waste of money. But I suppose it, the fact that we got free tickets and uh, we didn't have to pay for those, I suppose, is, is the only silver lining and a bonus um, to the whole day. But the actual bike show itself, for for the city of London, what a letdown! And if anybody ever asked me, would you do the London bike show? No, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't bother because you're just wasting your money. And to be fair, there was nothing there that we hadn't seen at the Birmingham Bike Show in November. It's nice to bump into a few old friends, a few old faces and uh, catch up. Uh, it's good to see Ian, Nicky and Mark from Roadskin. They've got a, a beautiful stall on, a beautiful stand with all their products. And I even bought a pair of jeans. Bloody overtaking us, buds! Oh, he ain't noticed. He's bloody overtaking us! How rude! He ain't happy! You're not happy! Oh dear! We're chasing her, we're catching her, kid! We're catching her! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What do you want me to do? <laughs> Took him, kid! Took him! We got her! We got her! Happy now? Oh dear! They did, uh, every uh, couple of hours they sort of hosted down the middle. They had uh, a bit of a drag strip. And when I say a bit, it was just a tiny bit of a drag strip. I don't think most of the bikes got out of first gear, if I'm honest. And uh, people like Hickman and John McGuinness and their super bikes. I don't think they, they managed to get their feet on the pegs. They ran out of space that quick. So there was all sorts of bikes doing that. So yeah, it was it was just a waste of time really. It was nice to have a day with my wife obviously because it's always nice to have a bit of time together. Um, but I would say save your money. Don't bother. Go to the Stafford Bike Show or something a little bit different because 
if you've done the Birmingham one, there's no point in doing the London one. There's absolutely nothing there. I mean, even Honda didn't turn up. No Honda, no Motor Goose, they want. It just all seemed a bit limp. It really did. So, obviously, since then, been back to work, not done a lot. So today is uh, the first day that uh, we managed to get out on the old uh, monkeys together. First time that me and Buddy have been on uh, Foxy Roxy. Yeah, we've decided to call her Foxy Roxy. She's got Foxy incorporated in the number plate and she's Roxy Red, so Foxy Roxy it is. I keep going for the fifth gear. So I am missing the fifth gear. But uh, it's got a different size rear sprocket on it, which seems to have made it a little more peppier. A little bit more peppier, eh? But it obviously makes a lovely burble through that uh, through that scorpion can, that's for sure. So yeah, we've had a, a bit of a bimble round today, around the lanes, been down to Stony Cove. A nice ride, nice cup of coffee. Whoop. And uh, I think it just makes us smile, made us realise how many little adventures we'll be having on the monkeys this year, that's for sure. So just a short video today, just really to, you know, have a bit of a catch up, tell you what we've been up to over the last week or so. And uh, on that note, live your best life, stay safe out there. She's done it to you again, Babs. She's in front.